Good work, Agent Eleven. All right, same deal. Okay. Yeah, so the plot doesn't change. Extra block when block is added. Oh. Not that useful for me. Still something to keep in mind, though. Oh, look at this. I will always be against a wall. And yet... Okay, let's... This is tough. I guess this is... The shitty part is I want to redirect this guy. I do have a slip. Okay. Let's redirect this guy here. Because I have a slip. I can slip there. And I should be able to spin kick, maybe. But I got to slip first. Quick block. Jab. No. Steel self. I was really hoping I could spin kick, but insufficient combo. Okay, so let's... Oh, he's still alive. Shoot. Uh... Oh, that's fine. Delete that man. Think about what you've done! You didn't think hard enough! That didn't do enough damage. It's okay. Sir. This is not a Wendy's delivery van. Come on, you can do better than that. Come closer. I said come closer. Nope, too close. <laughs> I really need to pay attention to those bonus objectives. I've been fine so far, but still. Three damage to all standing enemies. It's okay. Another jumping back kick. A push. Nah, I'm gonna... Let's keep our, our deck nice and clean. Um... Do we go for the event? Yeah, let's go for the event. You find yourself in the back of a car with armed men in every other seat. What do you do? Grab a gun, hope for the best. 50% chance to gain an enhancement, 50% for a long-term injury. Gain peripheral vision. Adds one block per enemy on turn start. Ooh, I like that. It was worth a shot. Okay, let's go shower block. I am the poo fighter. I must be clean. All right, what do we got? Not much. Hook kick. And separate. And then we just wait. Steel self. Slip. No, I can't do this. Okay. Maybe we'll be okay. So he does eight damage. So I gotta I gotta do. So they'll shank each other. If I shove sideways, that'll do eight. Okay, so he dies. And then I'm just gonna step. Loses me some combo, but I don't get shoved. But that didn't kill him? Oh, god damn it.
There we go. Unfortunately, it's still not going to kill these guys. Well, okay, never mind. Got one of them. Okay. I can't do too much here. So, let's do 12 to this guy. Steel self, front kick. Shit. We don't need that health that much anyway. I didn't realize I'd do quite as much damage as I did. Alright, so he's got very little HP. So I have to be a I have to shove him. To be able to get that combo up. I think it's going to work. We don't get any money here. I should have been paying more attention. It's fine. Stagger. Push an enemy. Deal six damage. Deft. Add a random movement card to your hand. Cost zero on, on turn. Or discard all non-attack cards. Stagger seems really interesting. I think I'm still going to skip it. And let's go for the event. Learn a new move. Your usual trainer is making a rare trip to London. You managed to fit in an extra session. Upgrade a move. Sorry. Pick a card to upgrade. All right. What are the really expensive ones again? It's like jumping back kick and wall punch. Let's do jumping back kick. Maybe? Nah. Nah, wall punch. This way I'll be inclined to use it more. And then I guess we'll go to medical. I don't have any injuries. I don't have any money. So I guess we're going back to prison. It'd be really cool if the upgrade system actually was not just like a linear resource, but actually let you choose what you want the upgrade to be. Okay, complete the level in six turns. Defeat enemies. Gotcha. So big issue is... Eh. Uh, dash. Hook kick. Jab. Left spin kick. Separate. I guess I don't get to shove anybody. Hmm. Alright, let's do that. Oh, that doesn't actually move me, does it? Okay, I think this is fine. Let's move here. We've still got Sheffy that we have to worry about. I'm going to grapple him. Move him there. Steel self. Oh, he's just punching. So I can do a quick, I can do a quick strike on Sheffy. Because Sheffy is the most dangerous. This guy's just going to hit me for 11. No big deal. I have so much block. And this way Sheffy gets shot. Okay. Redirect. I mean, realistically, I just have to move kind of out of the way. And I do have a step. Oh, 540 kick ends combo. Did not notice that. All right. This is not the end of the world. One. Two. Skip to the loo. Okay. Can I jumping wall punch off of a man? Probably not. Okay, so this guy's got 14 HP. No, he doesn't. He has no HP. 
Neither does this man. I really wonder what's out in the de in the death zone. But I guess I'm just gonna wait here. Hopefully this guy gets close so I can. I all right. I mean, if that's what you want, enjoy the death zone. I don't know if he will. Defensive stance. Convert combo into block. No. Stomp? No. Block? Regular block. Let's grab regular block. It's... Those numbers are just too high for me to ignore. Is that card spinning... Uh, clockwise or counterclockwise? Oh, I hate it. Okay. Um. Well, I'm going to keep rolling events. Maybe. If, you know what? No. I can only fit one more enhancement, and I'm not sure what, how to unlock more slots for them. Oh, there's an informant in the yellow enemy gang, marked in yellow. You can defeat the other enemies without... Oh. So if I can defeat everybody else without knocking them out. Okay, good to know. Well, kill everybody else, easy peasy. Now, the one thing is, these guys are auto-attackers. That's... A bit of a problem. But only a bit of a problem. Okay. So I've got some. Sheffy does six damage three times. So let's do... Let's start with broad shoulders. Quick block just because. And then I'm going to separate. This way I don't have to worry about anything. Then we wait. I really got to work on this whole wall jump punch and leaving myself in a good spot to actually make use of that. Okay. Well, I've got a couple of mo movement moves, so I'm just going to work on Sheffy here and just bring the pain. Uh, let's see. Anything else? Nope. I guess I could have dashed sideways, stepped over, and wrecked him. That would have been the smart play, I guess. Okay, let's just hit a block. Because this guy's going to auto-attack me, and I don't really want to deal with that. Less spin kick. So that'll push him sideways. We don't want to do... We want to do that last. Front kick it does push. Alternatively... One. Two. I have the block, so it doesn't matter. Hit them both. Oh. I guess... Oh, that ended my combo. That's what happened here. Okay, so this is a bit of a pickle. Okay. Not much I can do here, is there? Yeah, it hurt. That also hurt. Uh, well, it's okay. How much HP do these guys have? Not nearly enough. Ow! <laughs> you could have waited a little bit, my dude. It's fine. Commit. Move tiles, lose all block, jab. Nah, let's skip these. Wonder you have such good, varied, consistent content. How are you not more popular? I Variety is the spice of life, but it is not the spice of YouTube or Twitch. Which is a, just a bit of a shame, but is what it is. Okay, so I've got slip. I got slip. Let's see, do I have anything else? No. Well, in that case... 
steel self, delete man. <laughs> Alright, and then we just let that man shoot the other man. So, what are our bonus objectives? Because I really should pay attention to these things. Uh, take less than 10 damage, have two enemies kill other enemies. Alright, works for me. So the main question is, I can get out of this, but is there, well, I guess I might as well jab this guy real quick. So I need to have this guy effectively kill these dudes, which is a mild concern. Gotta leave him weak. Hit him with a front kick. If I could move this guy over, I'd be a happy camper. But no dice. Alright, so what else what else we got? I got a redirect, I got a 540 kick, I've got dash, I got block. Well, easy and easy and immediate answer is just step out of the way and hit block. Not that it matters, he dead. Thank you, shotgun man. Okay, so next order of business, I gotta hurt this guy a little. I got five energy. Say broad shoulders. Hook kick. Crap. Have fun. Uh, let's see. I don't think we're going to be able to do enough damage. Ah, not quite enough. Oh, I'm just going to quick block. Okay. I'll just be over here, I guess. We'll just wait. Slip. And pull. Like I said, I want a lot of redirection style moves here. Because it's just going to make my life so much easier. Uh, these bonus objectives are so much easier now. Uh, let's see. Unfortunately, I'm just gonna have to slowly make my way towards Gunboy. Alright, what do we got? Dash, grapple, redirect, hook kick, sure. Steal self. Hook kick for 16 damage. It's a little bit. And think about what you've done! I wish they would still shoot. Okay, so what do we have? I have a front kick. I have separate. You know what? I also just have death. Bye. Hey, my max combo goes up. Secret weapon. Two damage, one hand. Yeah, that's good. Three jab cards to your hand. Maybe. Palm strike. Eight damage. Gain two damage at the start of the next turn. Interesting. Like, Secret Weapon is kind of neat just because it makes everything better, but it runs the limits of my hand. I don't know. I'm not big on any of these. Like, maybe they're good, but I'm trying very hard not to over... over... uh... just jam my deck full of garbage that I don't need or want. Having enemies attack each other is so satisfying. It is so good. I, this game is just kind of a masterpiece. I don't think it's going to have quite the replayability that some other deck builders do, but at the same time, I'm fine with that. Oh, well, this is convenient. Alright, so let me take a look. So, we want a left spin kick. No, that's not going to work. Damn it. That's fine. It'll still work. It's just not as cool as I was hoping it would be. I'm going to... Pop this guy one in the face. Hit the quick block. Hit the redirect. Front kick this man. And then left spin kick him. I was hoping that it would actually spin kick him to the right. It didn't work. Is that John Wick tactics game still an epic exclusive? I'm pretty sure John Wick Hex is actually... Uh, 
Can I hit that guy? No, but I can kill this guy. There we go. Uh, I'm pretty sure John Wick Hex is now on uh, Steam. Oh, it's Chonk! Oh, no, no, it's an Enforcer. It's not Chonk. Damn it. He looks like Chonk from a distance. I was hoping he was back. Okay, well, let's get him with the hook kick. And then the front kick. Technically, they don't hit each other, but I don't need that. Alright. So, we've got a counterattack roll in our direction. Honestly, let's hit broad shoulders. Steel self. How much HP does he have? He's still got a bunch. Oop. So... Do I take one damage? Yeah. Wait. I goofed that one. Alright, let's not take the one damage. Okay, how much HP does he have? Still a lot. Now I have... Spin Kick. Eh. That'll do it, I guess. We will wait. Now what do I have? Let's do Separate. Get out of here. I said get out of here. But I think we'll just wait. I've got combo for days. Alright. So let's do slip, steal self, and ball jump punch for ultimate man deletion. Thank you. Goodbye. Shatter. Remove all block from target. Tempting. Palm strike. 10 damage. 3 at the start of the next turn. Undermine. Minus six damage modifier to all enemies. Is that permanent? That's that's probably permanent. I'm grabbing that. I'm if it's not permanent, I get it. But if it is permanent, oh boy, howdy. Man, alt delete exactly. To the prison. Why people be sleeping on this game? Nope. Oh. Oh, we've got an ambassador. That's okay. We're fighting ninjas. Now I just have to figure out how to make this work. How much damage are they going to do? 12. I feel like Undermine would be the easy way to start this off. Yeah, so let's start with Undermine. Okay, so that makes them weaker. Makes the ambassador far less vulnerable. Okay, I'm going to kick the ambassador out of the way. And then I'm just going to slip over here. I'm still going to take a hit, but I'm only going to take two damage for it. Oh, well, you know what? <laughs> that was worth it. All right, so how do we do this? Get him with the jab. Get him with a redirect. Yeah, luckily, uh, they only do six damage. So it's not so bad. I'm just going to do a quick block. Poor Ambassador is still going to get kicked. But he only gets kicked once. Okay. And no... Alright. This works out. Bye. I guess it didn't quite kill him. I need to do seven damage. Uh, I'm going to step here and surprise attack.
Because I, I got to be within general. Wait. What? What he? Oh. Okay, he's coming for me. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to reach him. So I guess I'll just be over here. Okay. Let's dash. Quick strike. And then I can do nothing else. That's fine. There's only one. There's only one more ninja, and he seems to be suffering from a critical lack of intelligence. So I guess we'll just be over here. Hello. Thank you. Took you a while to figure out that I exist. Front kick. I got slip, separate, grapple. Yeah, we're good. Hello. So you think, oh, he's coming closer. That means I can hit him. No, that means I can hit you. Now think about what you've done. I don't think he thought nearly hard enough about what he's done. Now he doesn't get the chance to. All right, and we heal up. Pocket Sand, Vicious Circle. If combo is over five, gain three combo. Eh. Pocket Sand's kind of funny, but I think I'm going to skip it. Stun is funny. Not really my flavor. Not for today. It says remove on play. Uh, so the minus six damage one? Yeah, yeah. I know that. The question is, is it a permanent six damage down to enemies? Because it could just be a one-time reduce all enemy damage. And the answer is nope. All right. Uh, let's see. So this guy... Hmm. Let's block. Let's redirect this guy. Thank you. So complete the level, get a combo of five. Sure. Uh, so this guy's gonna hit me for a. Yeah, but I've, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'll just block it. All right, so let's take a look at this. So let's start with quick block for obvious reasons. Steel self, separate. Okay. Shove. Sl slip. Because I've, st I've still got 11. Yeah, I'll be fine. Alternatively, grapple. These guys could shoot each other. Hmm. Yeah, here's the question. Do I make them kill this man? Yeah. There we go. <laughs> oh, it's just nothing but the most satisfying. Alright, so what do we got? Undermine. I love Undermine. Combo 3, complete the level within 6 turns, defeat a bunch of enemies. Alright, works for me. So, thing is... Yeah, let's start with Undermine. No matter what, that is too good. So now, I am at max going to take... How much damage? I see two and then four. So I see six damage coming at me. I say we just... We just quick strike this man. Doesn't matter. And then we do a surprise attack. You can't hurt me. I'm the gingerbread beast. So what do we got? Left spin kick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do left spin kick. Get this guy out of here so I just don't have to worry about it. He has a target now. I love how just ridiculous these dudes are. They don't care who they're shooting as long as they get the opportunity to shoot 
someone. It's kind of insane. And I still take no damage. Unfortunately, Friendly Fire is not exactly uh, these guys' strong suit. Oh, did Chef... All enemies gain eight, 8 health. Okay, I, I gotta stop that from happening. I say we start with killing this man. Then... We step... We shove this man off. No healing allowed. We pull. He's already countered me, so let's, uh... Let's do a 540 kick. Oh. Alright, he dead. <laughs> did I get the combo? I did get the combo. Cool. Bash. Hook kick. How much HP does he got? Six. Bye! Yeah, I could have one-shot the gun guy. I dude, my dude, I'm doing fine. Ooh. 10 damage, draw two cards, range two, maintain distance. Otherwise, we go broad shoulders and keep kicking people around. Let's keep going broad shoulders and just be the can-can man. Uh, let's see. Counter <laughs> counter is not a terrible idea, but let's let's just save and use our money on the things that are most important, which is making all of my cards very high high tier. Oh, interesting. The one-time cards cannot be upgraded. Surprise attack. Whoa, that's better. Grabbing that. Hook kick. Three momentum the next round is not a terrible idea. Let's make, uh, let's make them pull cheap, cheap, free. Hook kick. More energy. Uh, that's up there. Oh, never mind. I'm out of money. Do we upgrade jab? Nah, screw jab. If anything, jab is the one card that I might want to just remove. I'm sure jab is actually quite good. But at the same time, I don't really need it taken up my deck, and my energy... My energy is great. So, what are we looking at? A mess. We have step, we have... We do have undermine, which is great. Surprise attack, hook kick. I... All right, I'm gonna step, broad shoulders, undermine. I was really hoping I could pull off surprise attack and just go bananas on people, but getting those cards out of my way honestly works just about as well. So what are we looking at? I got a redirect. Seems reasonable. Uh, let's see what else we got. We got a front kick. And then I'm actually going to slip back one so we have something to jump off of. And we're closer to this so I can potentially eat people out of the world. Oh, okay. So he does have auto attack. He does nine damage. I think I heal between rounds, but it could be wrong. So do we bait it to smack him? No. No. Okay, let's start with the front kick. Just for a little bit of damage. God damn it, I totally forgot. Alright. I guess seeing as cat's out of the bag, let's just own it.
Okay, I've got some. If I'm going to take a little bit of damage, and I've got plenty of HP. Let's just maximize impact. Yeah, grand scheme of things, I think that was actually worth the damage that we took. Especially because we should be able to turbo delete the boss on the next round. Damn it, we didn't. It's okay. Alt option. Get out of here. <laughs> I deleted the boss anyway. All right, time to go flip some ninjas. I wish I wish there was like a post boss choice of upgrade. Choose an extra card at the as a reward from at the end of every fight. All right, I'll take it. Yeah, I forgot you can absolutely kick bosses out into the death zone. There's no limitations there.